What's good, Potato Spin the Leak here, and it's time for another movie review. This time it's going to be the original 1978, bad year for movies. I spit on your grave. Mmm, cover the children's eyes. That ass, though. Probably shouldn't do that considering the circumstances of this film, but still, why the fuck not? It's there. Now, this is an old cult classic where Jennifer, an aspiring novelist, uh, well, She's written a few short stories, let's be fair about that. They were all in women's magazine, and, uh, fair few women barely even read that. Um, anyway, going on. Uh, in order to get inspired by her novel, she decides to go out in the middle of butt fuck nowhere. See what I did there? Um, seems to be, you know, a nice, quiet, small town life. When a couple of the guys from town get together, uh, you have two bums, a gas station attendant, and a man with... A few minor, you know. Uh, anyway, the four of them get together. They start harassing her over the course of a couple of nights and then proceed to rape and attempt to murder her. They take turns. They let her run naked through the woods a few times just to play psychological fucking mind games. Um, after this, she decides to get her revenge. She lures them all out one by one and uh, kills them in fairly creative ways. I love that about this movie. Uh, just... How she used what was available uh, was absolutely excellent. It wasn't anything extreme, you know. She chopped up one guy with uh, a boat motor, uh, another one got an axe to the back, another one got, you know. <laughs> oh, cross your legs, gentlemen. Um, and another one simply got hung by a tree. Uh, overall, the circumstance of this movie, very dark. Um, this is definitely not for the faint of heart. Uh, I did enjoy the movie. I enjoyed the campiness of it. Like I said, the 70s were a bad time for movies, and honestly, a lot of the terrible scenes of this, because of the camera work and because of the general acting, and uh, because of, well, obviously what they were allowed to do in movies back then, or what they felt comfortable doing in movies back then, a lot of the scenes were actually kind of fucking funny, unfortunately. Um, like, I would be watching the rape scenes, and... The expressions on the men's faces were fucking hilarious, but the gravity of what was going on was horrible, so I'd catch myself laughing and then immediately feel like a fucking monster. Uh, this is not fucking okay. Um, I will say this, though. Uh, pertaining to this one, I haven't watched the other one, which, uh, that's... That's gonna be next. I'm gonna watch these back-to-back, -back so that it's kind of clear in my mind. Um, she made a lot of mistakes when entering into the small town that did bring this on. Um, she informed people of where she was living. Uh, one of the men that ended up raping her, she let them know that she was living alone, that she was single, no one was going to be looking around for her. Um, she pretty much ended up being alone the entire fucking time. That is... I mean, ladies, you can be on your own, but when you're out in the middle of the fucking sticks or you're unfamiliar with an area, you want to be careful. Now, this girl did have a gun that you saw her use later on in the movie, never to actually hurt anyone, which is good because I'm getting tired of gun violence in American films, or gun violence in America in general. Not really the act of owning a gun. Yeah, I mean, I myself have a firearm. Uh, you always need it for a little bit of self-defense, but... Let, let's face it, Americans are so lazy that they always go to it. Guns are used in movies, guns are used for suicide, guns are used for murder. It, it takes up half to, like, 75% of all crime, suicides, and action films. It's fucking tedious after a while. That's why whenever I immediately see a gun find, I'm like, ugh, do something crazy with it. Make it the Matrix. Um, while she did have uh, this weapon for self-defense, uh, when she was being harassed by them, she never actually had it on her. She would leave the house unarmed in the middle of the fucking night. Um, once she realized that people were harassing her, she still continued not to use it. And she would still continue to be out in the middle of nowhere, alone. Uh, I'm not saying she brought this on herself, I'm saying she made a lot of mistakes uh, when taking care of her own personal safety. Um, all in all, I'm gonna go ahead and give this movie uh, I'm actually going to give it three and a half potatoes. Um, it's, like I said, um, 
it was dark. It was excellent in that aspect. Uh, it showed a very dark reality in this scenario. Um, and they couldn't have possibly done it better at the point in time that they made this movie. Um, but like I said, it was hard to take some of the darker scenes seriously because of the camera work, which is to be expected from an older film. Um, the plot, acting, overall execution was lackluster, but like I said, they were limited. Just because it's in a different time doesn't mean I'm going to be fair about it. Uh, there are movies way older, like uh, Vincent Price, Last Man on Earth, that I would happily give four or five fucking potatoes because of how well it holds up and the excellent execution of every fucking line and the feeling of hopelessness in the world. But... This thing wasn't... It was excellent. It was captivating. Wasn't fucking mind-blowing. Um, have you seen this movie? If not, are you planning to check it out? Which this might be a hard one to find unless you get online and search a couple of different sites. Probably Amazon. Uh, speaking of which. Ooh. 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 Finally came today. Ooh's fucking good. Uh, anyway, whether you've seen this movie or you are planning on watching it, go ahead and post that in the comments down below. Um, like, comment, subscribe, keep on keeping on, and I will... I'll see you after I watch the next one. Like, uh, I, I think this one was... I mean, obviously this one was 1978, but the newer one... I'm trying to see when it was released. Uh, 2010 or 2011? Wow. Uh, that's kind of a big fucking jump. They're gonna go crazy, but I guarantee this one's gonna be violent to the point of being cartoony. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. Not the, uh, not rewatching the whole Rape of Jennifer or anything like that, but... I, it's a movie. Big fucking deal. Um, but yeah, no, like, comment, subscribe, keep on, keep on, I'll see you in another video! Don't know why my boss is doing that, but goddamn, it must be the buffalo chicken from earlier. Fuck it. I, my insides are going to be rotten here in a couple of minutes. Why am I delaying this? I don't know. Oh, right. I had something to say. And there it goes. I hit the stop button, but it didn't fucking stop. I guess I have to do something extra now. Is that good enough for you? I think that'll do it.